Well, new this morning, Tennessee has one of the highest mortality rates in the country when it comes to breast cancer. And according to the National Cancer Institute, mammograms miss about 20% of those cancers. But AI is changing the game, and a Noxa woman says it saved her life. How are you? Oh, it's good to see you. Again. It's been months. Come on back. All righty. Yeah. Since Linda Myers walked through the doors of Mosaic Breast Imaging for her first mammogram. You can clearly see you've got very dense tissue. She always yeah. suspected a breast cancer diagnosis was inevitable given her family history, but she never expected it to be detected with the help of artificial intelligence. And I was filling out the paperwork and it had this box that was like, do you want AI to read your image for I think it was $20, and on sort of a lark, I was like, yeah, why not? This right here is uh, with AI. Dr. David Forsberg sat down to show me how the technology works. He started using it last year during routine screenings. It's proliferating, which is great, because the more cancers we find at an earlier stage, the better. The software analyzes mammograms to identify subtle patterns in the tissue, helping doctors find suspicious areas that might be missed by the naked eye. In Linda's case, it revealed an extensive tumor. It showed an 85% chance of cancer in this one area in the left breast that was very subtle on the mammogram. Once we saw that, told the technologist, okay, we're doing an ultrasound of both breasts because she has such dense tissue, but I want you to look right here in the upper inner portion of the left breast and sure enough, when they did, there was a cancer right there. So AI nailed it. An MRI that followed led Linda to get a mastectomy. She credits AI and early detection for keeping her cancer at bay. It's been so incredibly instrumental in, in, in diagnosing my cancer, and it was a large amount of cancer. I don't know if I would have seen it, but AI uh, doing it on the fly made it a no-brainer. Dr. Forsberg says about two-thirds of his patients are now opting into AI, and he's using it every day to help women like Linda. It's been an uncomfortable four months, but I mean, in the face of what it could have been, it's very tolerable, and I'm very lucky. Now, of course, the technology is still evolving, and it's just the beginning. There is some research going on right now that AI could help predict who will actually get breast cancer, so that's pretty um, amazing. But remember, while AI is useful, if you don't get a mammogram in the first place, Dr. Forsberg says it really won't help you out much. Meaning it's got to be used in conjunction with a mammogram. Right, because you got to go get your screening first yes. for it to even detect if there is anything there. So I go to Dr. Forsberg and I checked the box for AI this yeah. time and it's 20 extra dollars. That's it. And it does a full exam of your breast and it, it truly is remarkable how technology can aid us in the medical field. Yeah, and really just gives you that extra peace of mind. Absolutely. Well, hey, remember it's the 10th of the month, which means it's time for your buddy check 10 reminder. Call up a buddy and remind them to do a breast exam and do one yourself. It is key in catching signs of breast cancer as early as possible.